Hi guys, it's Remina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 12 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So let's say 14% have high blood pressure. High blood pressure. And 12%, 22% have a low blood pressure. So that leaves the normal blood pressure to be 0.64. Have normal blood pressure. On the other side, we have 15% have irregular heart rate. 15. So that means... 0.85 of them have regular heart rate, heartbeat. <laughs> of those with irregular heartbeat, one third have high blood pressure. So one third have high blood pressure. That means 0.15 times one third is equal to 0.05 of the whole total population. So 5% of the total population have high blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. And the next one is of those with normal blood pressure, one eighth have irregular heartbeat. So 1 eighth have irregular heartbeat. So that means 7 eighth has regular heartbeat. So let's do 0.64 divided by 8 to get that 8% 8, 8 of the whole population has irregular and normal heart, normal blood pressure. And 7 eighth times 0.64 to get that 56% of the whole population has normal blood pressure and high blood pressure. Normal blood pressure and high heart, high, normal blood pressure and regular heartbeat. And the question is, what is the portion of the patients who have regular heartbeat and low blood pressure? So regular heartbeat and low blood pressure. So we know on this side, irregular heart rate and high blood pressure, which was given right here, 0.05. So that means something has to be multiplied by. 0.14 to get 0 0.05. 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.14 to get that. This is 0.35 here, 7. So if this is 0.357 here, then the bottom part must be 0.642. So then the total amount of the population that have heart, high blood pressure and regular heartbeat will be 0.14 times 0.642, which is 0.09. It's a little bit jammed in here, so I'm going to give it a space. 0.357 and 0.05. And because we're looking for regular heart rate and low blood pressure, if we know all um, regular heart regular heart rate has to add up to 0.85, that means regular heart rate is equal to high blood pressure and regular heart rate plus low blood pressure and regular heart rate plus normal blood pressure and regular heart rate, right? So we know regular heart rate has to equal to 0.85. High blood pressure and ro ro um, regular heart rate is right here, 0 0.09. This is what we're looking for, low blood pressure times the regular heart rate and the regular heart rate. And the normal blood pressure and regular heart rate is right here, 0 0.56. So when you solve for the low blood pressure and regular heart rate, you get 0.85 minus 0.09 minus 0.56, which is equal to 0.2, which is our answer E. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!